So all you need to do is that pay attention to the formula, put in the right details and you get the answer on the spot. Now this is a direct calculation. You simply have to fit in the formula. This is very, very simple. Just at two minutes, you have to pay attention, put in the formula. This will definitely help you in the last moment to score better in your final exam. Good morning and welcome to the last and final session of Chapter 8, National Income Accounting. In this session, we are going to see some of the problems. These are practical oriented problems. This will come for you in the exam for 10 marks. So it's very important that we pay attention to these problems. The first thing which I want to tell you is that these problems are very simple. Why? Because you just have to apply the formula and you get the entire five marks. That is two questions, five into two, 10 marks, just like that. So all you need to do is that pay attention to the formula, put in the right details and you get the answer on the spot. Saying so, let's move forward and see the first problem in national income accounting. So this is the session today. We're going to have two problems. One will be on the calculating the private income that's the personal income and the factors the other would be on the GDP so the first problem is like this from the following data calculate the personal income and personal disposable income we had spoken about what is personal income and what is personal disposable income now we have been given with certain facts here the net domestic product at factor cost is given at 8000 the net factor income from abroad is given at 200, undispersed profit is 1000, corporate tax is given at 500. Now moving forward, interest received from the households 1500, interest paid by the household is 1200, transfer income is 300, personal tax is 500. Now how do we solve this problem? If you go through the problem just for a moment going back, you would see that the factors are already given to you. You don't have to start searching for the numbers. The numbers are already given. All you have to do is that fit in the formula and you will be able to get the answer automatically. So let's have a quick look how to solve the problem. What are the steps that are needed to get the right answer? Moving forward, now here. Personal income formula equals to net domestic product at factor cost plus net factor income from abroad plus we are adding the interest received minus the interest paid by the household plus transfer income, corporate tax minus undispersed profit. All the data that are required for the formula is already given in the problem. So you have the value for net domestic, it is 8,000 plus 200 is the net factor income from abroad plus 1,500 minus 1,200. That's the interest received by the household minus the interest paid by the household plus the transfer income is also given to you minus corporate tax minus undispersed profit. So you will get the answer as 7300. Now this is a direct calculation. You simply have to fit in the formula, fit in the numbers there. Automatically you will get the personal income. You just have to take it from the problem and just put in that numbers. You will be able to arrive at the personal income. Now, one point which I would like to mention here is that initially you might find that the problem is challenging in terms of the formula because the formula might look longer for you. But with an amount of practice, you will be definitely able to get over this. So it is not mandatory that every time I have to mug up the formula and write it as and when. If you can just practice the problem a couple of times, automatically you will be able to solve it much more easier. Now from the personal income, if you see we have to calculate the personal disposable income. Now personal disposable income is nothing but personal income minus personal tax. So in the problem, if you see the last one they would have been given about the tax factor that I would like to show you again. If you go back, you would see personal tax given at 500. 
So all you have to do is that after calculating your personal income, that is 7,300, subtract the tax factor from it, you will be able to get your personal disposable income. If you are able to do this much, guaranteed 5 marks comes to you automatically. So you get a full 5 marks there. So it's a very, very simple problem. All you have to fit in the numbers, understand it step by step. Please don't hurry up in using your calculator and fitting all the numbers. Just take some time, look into your calculation, calculate it properly, automatically the 5 marks is for you. This is very, very important student. So please pay attention to this problem. This will definitely help you in the last moment to score better in your final exam. Now moving forward, we shall look about the second problem that has been given. The second problem is this, suppose the GDP at market price of a country in a, any particular year is given as 1100 crores, net factor income from abroad was 100 crores, the value of indirect minus subsidies, that's very very important, we are not including the subsidies, was 150 crores and national income was 850 crores calculate the aggregate value of depreciation. So it's very clearly given in the problem. They want us to calculate the aggregate value of depreciation. That means all the factors are already given. We just have to reassemble the formula to get the answer. So let's have a quick look how the solution is being done for this problem. This is the formula which we need to look into. National income is equal to gross domestic product at market price minus depreciation plus the net income from abroad minus net indirect taxes which will include indirect tax minus subsidies. Now in this problem if you know that the national income is already given that's what if you see in the previous slide. The national income is already given as 850 crores. So no need to worry about it. It has already been given as 850 crores. So all you need to do is that in the place of national income, please fit in the value as 850 crores. Now, you also know the value that has been given as a gross domestic product minus depreciation. We do not know what is the depreciation because we need to calculate the aggregate value of depreciation plus the factor that has been given, the net factor income from abroad is given minus net indirect taxes, that is 150 that has been given. So all you need to do is that bring the depreciation to this side, calculate all the values by putting the numbers on the other side and you will get the depreciation value as 200. This is very, very simple. Just the two minutes you have to pay attention put in the formula, look into the values that are being given in the problem and automatically again you will score a full 5 marks here. So please understand that this kind of problems are bound to come for you in the practical oriented part. Now these problems all you need to do here is that when you are reading the lesson, please try to understand the concepts behind it. Please do not just go and mug it up or please do not just go reading the chapter like that. Wherever you have doubts, mark it up and read it again. Try to understand the concept when they say subsidies, when they say taxes, when they say personal income, personal disposable income. All those words, please mark it, underline it. And if you have any doubts, get back as soon as possible so that you will be able to understand the concept better and you will be able to do these kind of practical problems with much ease. Automatically you will be able to score and these marks will enhance your performance in economics paper. So with this we come to the conclusion of the session chapter 8. I hope and believe that this entire chapter was very interesting and informative for you. The next chapter, we will be talking about money and banking. That's a new session altogether. Thank you once again for joining me on this wonderful session. I hope and believe this is highly informative, educative, and also very, very useful for you in terms of learning the new concepts. Thank you again.